Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. So in this video, let me just discuss uh, the dynamical problem. As you know, in the physics of dynamics, we just mainly play with the Newton's laws. Okay? How we can apply the laws of motion? For that, let me just address the problem here. Suppose if it is given in a problem, we have the friction as pulley here. Okay? Okay? And over which there is a string that is indeed a massless string, but its one end is attached with the block whose mass is given as 2 kg here but this weight this this mass of block is it is going to rest on some horizontal surface okay it rests on some horizontal surface here and another side of the pulley sorry another side of the string is here but along this side there is a cat okay whose mass is given as suppose for me if this is cat and its mass is given as 1 kg okay as this cat, it just so when we talk about this 2 kg block, it initially rests on this horizontal surface, okay? So this cat, it just moves upwards relative to this string, okay? It achieves achieve some acceleration, but moment it just moves upwards, this block it remains in contact with it, okay? When this block of mass 2 kg it remains in contact with the surface, so we can guess here one thing very important the tension that will act in a string okay tension is also the correct force of the string okay so when we talk about the tension it is always away from the body why so it is as a consequence of the Newton's third law okay so when this block it just remains in contact with the surface but at the same time the tension will act in the string as a result of this cat it just moves upwards okay for that, for that, there is no acceleration of string from this side. Means this block does not accelerate. Why so? Because tension and the weight of block, they will, they will just cancel out in pairs. Okay. As a result, initially there is no acceleration for this block. It is something that is very important to analyze here because it will try to help me in order to calculate what's the tension in the string. Although tension, it will be everywhere the same at each point of the string, it will be same because it's a massless string. Okay. Means that the information in a string it will it will carry with the speed of light. Okay. So as a result, when this block initially it does not accelerate, means that means that block it remains for a period of time it remains in contact with this. Although this cat is going to make an up, upward lift with respect to the string. Okay. So what I can presume at the first place, my tension, it must be equal to the weight of this block that's given as 2G, okay? So I succeed in order to calculate at the first place the tension. What will be the tension in the string? It will be prolonged. It will be prolonged as if, okay? It really doesn't matter for me, but it will help me in order to look for how exactly what's the demand from the question. If I look, one more thing, I mean... From what's furthermore given in a question like when it just it just moves upwards with respect to the string, okay. So as time evolves in a system, what happens here? This block it, it, it gets some upward movement, okay. Means that means that it detaches its contract with the surface, okay, as time evolves in a system. So at the same time, the acceleration of cat with respect to the string it changes to zero. Means there is no acceleration of cat with respect to the string whose mass is given as 1 kg. It's a very important statement right now that's given in the question like when the acceleration of this cat it changed to zero with respect to the string, okay? Initially it was moving upwards, okay? Now, now cat does not move upwards. Movement it does not have any acceleration with respect to this string. At the same time, the block it just lifts up. It just lifts up. Okay. As a result, there will be some different acceleration in a given system. That's not indeed a big deal to calculate what will be the that acceleration. But first of all, let me just go for with which acceleration the cat is moving upwards. Okay, with respect to the string. For that, what I will do, I will just use my Newton's laws here. That tension will again act in. It's always away from the body, as I told you. It's as a consequence of the Newton's third law. Means that this tension minus mass of the square that's one k one into g it will give one into a one. That's an acceleration in the case first when this block of mass two kg it remains in contact with it. Okay, how much that is? Tension is given as two g 
minus g that will be simply a1 my a1 will be simply here g means that cat will accelerate exactly with the acceleration due to gravity in case when this block it remains in contact with this with this surface over a period of time okay suddenly what happens here that's right now important analysis uh, that when cat the acceleration of cat it changes to zero with respect to the string at the same time this block it lifts upwards okay mm -hmm. with what acceleration it lifts upwards that's not a big deal here to calculate but it is very important i mean understand here like when this block of mass 2 kg it just lifts upwards there is no acceleration of cat with respect to it okay for that what i will do here again i will use an expression that if we have probably two masses, such a masses are moving under the gravity force, okay. For that, the excel, for that, it's known to me how I can calculate the acceleration for this dynamical system. As if I will use here relation, this relation you may probably know it by form it comes, okay. It's m1 plus m2, okay. If I will take this 2 kg here, so it will be 2 minus 1, that will be simply g over 3, okay. Hope, uh, you are getting it right from the things come and all that. But I call this acceleration A2. This is an acceleration for a system when cat has a zero acceleration with respect to the string. Okay. It's a moment when this block it just lifts up. It has no more connection with this, no more contact with the surface. Okay. On which it was initially rest. So basically I need to calculate the change in acceleration. Change in acceleration. What will be the change in acceleration? Okay. That's indeed the demand from the question. I have the two parameters that's given right now. It's not a big deal here. Calculate this change because I will take this much because initially my system it just moves that moves in at the first place within exactly with the acceleration due to gravity. So how much it will be to be g minus g by 3 that will be 2g by 3. This is what I can say the change in acceleration. I use here. This norm, it means and simply that I will always get the positive value. So this norm, it will take care of everything, okay? Whether you will take g minus g by 3 minus g. And this, this way of writing, it will just take care of everything. That's not a big deal to, I mean, understand here. But, but what was indeed the demand from the question, like I will just try to reanalyze my question here once more. As if it was given here, my system and the cat was moving upwards with respect to it okay whose mass was given but when it was moving with respect to it there was this block of mass 2 kg one end of the string is attached to it it was in contact with it okay moment when acceleration of the cat is going to be zero with respect to the string this block of mass 2 kg it just moves upwards okay as a result of my system will have different acceleration how much that will be I need to use this relation. This relation that you know why form it comes, okay? If there is, I have the dynamical system, okay? Like this, composed of the two, ma two master blocks attached at the two ends of the string. The string, it passes over some pressureless pulley, okay? As a result, I have this relation. I am eager to use this relation. I am getting here acceleration in the case second, that's g by 3 what will be the change in acceleration of this system that's 2 g by 3 okay by this way my problem ends uh, although i found it's a special problem because it's very similar to what we can say than atwood's machine okay in an atwood's machine we have similar type of two muscle blocks attached to ends of string the string passes over this frictionless pulley for that we are getting this relation okay so i'm just eager to use this thing i get this thing Ultimately, I got this result, okay? This was all about this problem. Thank you.